Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, dun -dun. Welcome back, my friends. JT here, and I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. You're being authentically yourself. You're on a healing journey, getting some workouts in, eating healthy, uh, not letting your self worth diminish if you ever think about the narcissist, because again, that's what they want. They want you ruminating about them all the time. But I just know that you will all get through it, and even in the uh, down times, the struggles, that's where the growth comes from. You know, it's not about how many times you get knocked down. It's about you getting back up. And that's all that counts. As long as you keep getting back up and keep fighting, that's strength, that's growth. So whether or not you maybe relapse, message the narc, looked at their Instagram, whatever, don't feel bad about it. It's not directly connected to your self-worth of who you are. You know, we're all human, no one is perfect. And we all have struggles. We all have temptations. And it's just important that we learn and we learn from them and we grow. When I was really called to do this video, God really spoke to me uh, yesterday and today because I've, like I've said in the past couple of videos, the past couple of weeks, I haven't been as active doing a video every single day um, because I've been dealing with my own, my own health issues and getting myself to where I need to be. And um, I was really called to do this video because I had a, not a relapse, uh, yesterday, but like I, uh, I looked at a picture of the ex narcissist, and I knew I shouldn't have, and I knew, but I've I've been having serious anxiety the past few days with my throat condition and everything that's going on. Like some days I only eat 500 calories, and I'm just very uh, malnourished. Um, so I had a, some severe anxiety the other day, and uh, I ended up looking at a picture, and this made me think about old older videos I used to do on corn on uh, you, you know looking at the dirty deed kind of stuff and manifestation and energy and what I thought about is and there is a bunch of studies with this how you know if we look at corn or we look at uh, lustful images any of that type of content we get such a huge amount of dopamine, we get such a huge hit of dopamine that a lot of times we can associate guilt with that dopamine because we're so not used to it. And then what happens is we become addicted to that huge rush of dopamine and we end up creating anxiety from it. And it's the same thing with the narcissist. You know, if you look at their Instagram, if you look at emails they've sent you or anything, you're gonna get a dopamine hit from that because again, you're gonna get into your head, ruminating about them, thinking about memories. So you're getting dopamine hits, especially if you do the, you know, the dirty deed, thinking about them, that's gonna be a huge dopamine hit and you're just feeding that addiction. You know, again, when we're with the narcissist, they give you that love bombing stage in the very beginning, which plays on your dopamine receptors and your serotonin receptors. So you're getting bombarded with these crazy, addiction like dopamine hits and you become an addict. So when you're on your healing journey and you have a relapse or a, a momentary uh, time of weakness, then you get a dopamine hit and you're associating your self-worth with that dopamine hit because you feel the guilt and the shame of it. And then we often get anxiety from it. It's a perpetual thing. That's why it's so important that you, you know, don't look at the Instagram or the social media or what they're doing or respond to emails. Cause again, everything is energy. We're connecting to their energy. And so I thought about this. I remember a long time ago when I used to research a lot on manifestation and bringing abundance into your life. And I've manifested a lot of great things in my life, uh, businesses, finances, and uh, a lot of techniques I talk about in my book on Amazon that I wrote. And, um, a lot of it comes down to our subconscious programming, especially right before we go to bed, because during the daytime, we're in our consciousness, right? When we go to bed at night, we switch into our subconscious. During the daytime, our brain is in alpha brain state, alpha brain waves. And then when we switch going into sleep at night, we switch into theta. Theta is in the subconscious. So what ends up happening, and this is where all the programming takes place, all, everything behind the scenes. So what they say, when you look at, um, corn before you go to bed, you end up pulling that into your dreams. 
That's why a lot of times people that, you know, look at corn right before they go to bed or lustful images or anything like that will end up having similar types of dreams. And why do they tell kids, well, not kids, in gen- but I, I think this for uh, general population, not just kids, adults as well. If you watch, there's studies on this, if you watch a horror movie before you go to bed, you are pulling in more of that into your dream state. Again, because you're, when you're falling asleep at night, you're switching from the alpha brainwave state into theta, consciousness to subconscious. So you're programming what you see right before you go to bed into your subconscious and it's gonna come out in your dreams. That's why they say don't watch horror movies before bed. It's proven. When you watch scary movies, you're gonna have nightmares. When you watch corn or lustful things, that's gonna get pulled in your dreams. If you think about the narcissist before you go to bed, or you look at their Instagram, or you look at their messages, what's gonna happen? You're gonna pull that into your dreams. You're gonna pull that into your subconscious, and it's gonna be ruminating. That's why it's so important. I always tell people, right before you go to bed, if you're trying to manifest your dream life, like for example, I have a lot of clients that I have helped get their finances in order, I'll say, pick a 30 second visual clip of what you want your future life to look like. Maybe that's you're in Greece and you're uh, pulling up on a yacht and you're jumping into the water and you're walking up on the beach and you're renting a Ferrari and you're going to a nice restaurant. This 30 second visual clip. And when you're thinking about that right before bed, you're pulling it into your current reality. Again, our inner world mirrors our outer world. So at nighttime, when you're switching in from conscious to subconscious, you wanna reprogram your brain to already see yourself having the finances, having the abundance, having the health, whatever it is. And then that's gonna manifest more into reality. So when you're thinking about the narcissist right before you go to bed or ruminating about the narcissist or looking at a picture or doing the dirty deed to them, you're gonna pull more of that type of energy into your subconscious, into your dreams. And then that creates, again, anxiety, depression, PTSD, autoimmune diseases, everything, because you're connecting to the narcissist more. And I get a lot of comments from people that say, you know, I've broken the soul tie, but then it comes back. That's because it, it, when you break the soul tie, it's not just a one time you're good. Like it can, the cords can reattach. Cords can reattach. It's a constant, you know, thing you have to do. If you, once you get to a point where you're never thinking about the narcissist, you've moved on, you're in a happy relationship, whatever, where you're not thinking about them, the soul tie is not going to be there. But if you, you know, have a relapse or you look at a picture or something, you're reconnecting that cord. Every single time you do that, you reconnect that cord. You reestablish that soul tie. That's why it's so important to go on long streaks in your own energy and to not be thinking about them. And when you are thinking about them before bedtime, ruminating or looking, want to look at a picture, switch your mindset. Think about something else because this happened to me the other day. And I looked at one picture, then I, I have her blocked on everything. But again, like I said, she was a, uh, a model. So uh, just like on Google saw a picture and then, then I was thinking about it. And then she got pulled into my dreams. And this was, I'll, just, I'll briefly tell you the dream. And this is why narcissists are so evil and demonic. And I already know, like I can see in her eyes like that she is 100% a demon. And I, I've read in a lot of comments that you guys can see the demonic entity or the evilness inside your narc's eyes. Once you get away from them and you start looking at all the pictures, you can really see it. And in the dream, she was um, <laughs> going to hell. And the devil came up in this dream. <laughs> like, again, I pulled, because I was thinking about it before bed, came into my dream. But because narcissists are so egotistical and like... I can do this on my own. Like, I don't need anybody. Like, I'm the king, queen shit of the world. She was like, the devil came up and I'm like, I can save you. I can, I can uh, take you to heaven. You don't need to go to hell. And she's like, no, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. And just like that, you know, that, that devilish smirk that the, all the narcissists do, the, that little grin. She was doing that and the devil came up and he put his hand out and uh, she shook his hand and went to hell. And it was, it was a wild dream, but it was just so like informative. And when I woke up and I thought about it, I was like, cause I always knew she had made up, she sold her soul to the devil. 
And uh, after I woke up, I was just like, yep, they, they know. They know that they are demonic or they have demons attached to them or they've sold their soul and that they're in that lower vibrational energy and that they can't be saved. But yet they want to take every single person down with them. And again, this was just a lesson that I learned from, you know, months and months and months, almost a year of not looking at a single picture. And I was like, okay, yep, we're not doing that again. But it was just more confirmation that I did make the right choice, that, you know, uh, I couldn't be the hero. I, I couldn't, I can't fix her or can't fix most narcissists. You got to fix yourself first and heal and become whole and complete on your own to attract someone else that is whole and complete. It's not our job to go on this journey of trying to fix everybody. So I hope that video was insightful for you guys and just know that if you are on the healing journey, you've had relapses, you've had moments of weakness or temptation, it's okay. Don't get down on yourself. No one is perfect. We're all on this healing journey and you know, it takes time. It takes time to get over all these traumatic things. When you're trying to get over all the traumas of your own life and what has happened in your, uh, your childhood, it's not just like a few days, few weeks, few months. It's, it, it takes time to really break everything down and really let it go. So just know that there are going to be struggles and you can get through it. And all that counts is that you get back up you raise your vibration. You raise back up to a higher energy level. And I can even see when I've done these uh, couple videos in the past two weeks where my energy level is just like not there. I can, I can just see it. I can feel it. Uh, I can see it in my eyes. And I feel really, really good today because, I, again, I learned a lesson. I learned a lesson that needed to be learned. And it taught me that I did make the right choice. And um, I can, I'm never going to look back. And that's how you guys all can be on your healing journey too. Know that you made the right choice, even though it's hard and it's painful. Just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward through the struggles, through the pain. And eventually, that will get you the growth and all the things that you want in life. All right? So enjoy the day, guys. Go get a workout in if you can. Eat healthy. Stay safe. I'll see you in the comments. And I will be back tomorrow for another video. And I'm super excited to hit a bunch of videos this week. We're going to do the Fallen Angel video this week. I've been working on that one for a few months because that's a very that's a, an, another difficult one. So I'll, I'm excited to be doing the Fallen Angel video this week. But I will talk to you guys tonight in the comments. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later.